going to pivot. Realistic doesn't mean impossible. It's about re-evaluating your goals, your priorities, and your habits. Hi everyone, my name is Imani, and if you've never seen my face before, I'm 22 years old, living back at home post-grad, and in today's video, I really wanted to share with you my hacks and my secrets to how I'm becoming that girl. New Year's is approaching, literally 20 more days until New Year's. It's 63 days until then. 63 days to really lock in and change your life, and I'm going to explain to you step-by-step step how I want you to do that. Make sure you have a little notepad, a little iPad, taking notes, like whatever you need to do to make sure that this doesn't go in one ear and out the other. Grab a little drink i have my protein shake right here and let's just get into the video changing your life requires a lot a lot of discipline okay you see me looking over here i'm looking at my notes that i have on my computer i don't want to miss any points becoming an it girl right imagine an it girl imagine a girl that you think has it all has her life together has health together like think of somebody that you think really is the definition of an it girl it requires a major life transformation okay so it requires you to really really think about who you are now how you want to become an it girl From point a to point b it's about re-evaluating your goals your priorities and your habits here's how we're gonna get started set clear goals and when i say clear i mean crystal clear i can see through it that's how clear it needs to be like i need to look at your goals and see right through it i shouldn't be confused you should not be confused 10 days from now looking at your goals being like what did I mean by that? Define your long-term goals from your short-term goals. Short-term goals are goals that happen in a short amount of time. They're pretty like realistic. So for example, a short-term goal could be for me saving up $300 because I work, I get money, so I'm able to do that, right? Short-term, something quick, something that has a really quick turnaround. A long-term goal could be something like, I wanna hit 100,000 subscribers on this channel. I could get blessed by the YouTube algorithm and boom, tomorrow I wake up with 100,000 people, subscribe. It's not really realistic. Realistic doesn't mean impossible. Realistic just means based off the evidence, just the circumstances, X amount of thing or something is gonna happen in this amount of time. I think people have taken the word realistic and made it really negative when in reality it's it shouldn't be. Like realistic is good. Realistic is healthy. Realistic is safe. Time management. This way you're gonna be able to tackle these goals. So you have your goals clear so now you need to master the art of time management time management is such an important skill to attain in this process of becoming that girl it girls aren't late it girls don't wake up and not know what they're up to that day so if you have to invest in a planner a calendar ocean just need some type of time management tool that's going to keep you on track and some work better than others for me for example i could get a planner i'm not going to write in it for weeks okay it's just the truth i'm not going to write in it but my notes app keeps me accountable because i list out my to-do lists i have deadlines lines that I need to meet in there my Google Calendar it's really linked to my phone so I can I have like a widget for my calendar so I can see what's going on that day I really try to use my calendar as a crutch just because I kind of told myself that I can memorize everything that I need to do whether it was assignments when I was still in college manage your time babes manage your time I think a lot of the times we see time kind of as our enemy but we can make it a frenemy we use time and time uses us okay so it's a transactional relationship here. Time needs to be on your side and you need to know how to manage it better because time flies, especially when you're having fun and procrastinating, just saying. You also need to learn from your mistakes and not be afraid of failing. Afraid of failure kind of puts us in this mindset of staying in our comfort zone and not wanting to venture out and try new things, which could really limit us and we won't be that girl. We won't be that it girl because the it girl is someone that isn't afraid to try new things, isn't afraid to put themselves out there, and isn't afraid to fail. So what if everyone's gonna laugh at you at school? At least you tried. So what if it doesn't work out? At least you tried and now you know what you shouldn't do and you can make an adjust. You can make approach better and adjust it as you go. Like, trust me, every person that you see that is successful or seems like they have it all figured out, they have failed multiple times before. They've pivoted. They've, like one thing about me I'm going to pivot. I like to fail fast because failing fast means you can kind of gauge what you can do to kind of do some damage control. Obviously, you can't always do damage control, but do some damage control, move forward. Don't let negativity become you. You can have some negativity sometimes, like we're human beings, like things happen. You shouldn't let that become who you are or become like your personality because that's where it becomes really, 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 really hard. You need to have a strategy. Luck can be on our side sometimes, but most of the time it's strategy 
strategy. And once you nail down your strategy, it trumps luck every single time. So here's what I have to say about that. Luck may play a role, but it's not the driving force. I wrote this down in my notes. Luck may play a part, but it's not the driving force behind becoming an it girl. Strategy is your key. Strategy is what's gonna propel you to the next level, all right? So first of all, networking. It girls know everybody. Oh, like, how do you know her? Like, like most it girls network. Most it girls aren't just in a little clique of friends. Most it girls network and can connect with a lot of different types of people. We know and we understand that building a network of strong individuals like ourselves is what's gonna push us and give us that that drive and give us that motivation like you need to be around people who motivate you to be better much as people like to say oh like don't like move in silence etc etc trust me I know I really am such an overshare type of person especially with people that I really really connect with think to yourself and being an observer helps you more because you can kind of let people make those mistakes that you can avoid what is going on <laughs> what is going on and that's why it's really important to network with people because some people can just share you their stories about their failures and help you already like and help you avoid them so networking surrounding yourself with people who are inspiring being in an environment that feels inspiring to you skill development is also very important you need to have skills baby like you can't just know how to do one thing okay sometimes you have to venture out there you don't have to be an expert but you need to at least know I'm not an expert at video editing but I know how to do a little video you know trick here and there I'm not an expert cycler but I went to my first cycling class this morning and I did pretty well so you need to really develop skills that build your confidence babes like you need to have a lot of things under your belt that make you feel like you're that girl girl that you're well you know educated well organized like you need to build up that repertoire of who you want to be and build skills in those little things those little nooks and crannies like have hobbies have skills like don't just depend on one thing because at the end of the day life is really crazy and life changes in a blink of an eye so don't just put all your eggs in one basket you know like I'm a really academic person and I'm a studious person but I've really learned especially in the midst of the pandemic that that can't be my only personality poor time and energy into my hobbies and into things that fulfill me and push myself to challenge myself as well as venture out and meet new people and I'm telling you your life is going to change the moment you realize that you can't just stay in a little box and be content you're gonna be bored you're gonna be tired you're gonna be wondering like when is life gonna get exciting and when you start getting into that path it's scary because you never know which way it's gonna go and you can find yourself living this life that you didn't really choose but you just ended up being and years are gonna pass down and you're gonna be like wow like I really just like didn't use my youth to my advantage like I said time is a key time is a key we're only gonna be this young once so you want to make sure that you're doing the things that you genuinely love not things that you're seeing on social media or things that people are trying to push down your throat you need to follow your heart and do things that fulfill you consistency 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 i have a little testimony okay i have a little testimony about consistency i've had this youtube channel since 2015 like I'm, i guess it's like when like i made a youtube account like officially um, I started posting on this YouTube account, I want to say in 2018, I had made my first video that was public, that was live, and it was my brother doing my makeup. I don't even know, if, I think it's still up. I don't know if I privated it yet, but it was a cute little video. And I swore to myself that I was going to be like the next Emma Chamberlain. Like it was during that Emma Chamberlain vibe era of the internet. And I swore I'm going to be the next vlogger, you know, I'm going to be doing this and doing that. Your girl flop. And I didn't flop because my content was trash. I flopped because my consistency was trash. Do this, do that. Like I wasn't really engaging with my audience. I wasn't really showing up for the algorithm the way I needed to. I really robbed myself of the potential of having a bigger channel today. And I don't let that like beat me up. I don't let that say, oh well, the ship has sailed. It's time to be realistic. Like I really do think that I'm built for YouTube and I do think I'm built to be on this platform. And I've literally, in this month, 28 days of me being consistent on my channel, okay? My views have gone up 1.2K more than usual. So I have a total of 6,000, I have 202 watch hours and I've gained 143 subscribers. And that's just from a month of being consistent and giving my audience what they want to see as well as being genuine to myself and making content that I really enjoy. So if that doesn't shake your core to like get on your Zoom, 
consistency matters and I've been consistent in the gym I've been consistent in my health grind I struggled with consistency I struggled with discipline but those are the principles that you need to become an it girl staying committed to your goal Staying committed to your goals and showing up for yourself because you know why you have the goals that you have whether it's financial freedom whether it's to be in the best shape of your life that's what's so passionate inside of you like I'm speaking so passionately today just because like this is something that I love to talk about which reminds me I have a podcast the art of unmasking podcast and I'm dropping a new episode this week so if you've been looking for a little podcast girly to listen to you should go over there links are going to be in the bio this is like the last section of becoming an it girl and transforming yourself taking better care of yourself you gotta treat yourself like royalty okay when you look at yourself in the mirror you have to remind yourself who the heck you are because you're not gonna just surround yourself with anybody put anything in your body not take care of your body physically spiritually mentally you need to get all the three trinities intact and i wrote down here on my notes develop a self-care routine now, i'm not talking about the little like self-care routines we see all over tiktok romanticized like face mask hair mask this not like I'm generally talking about like doing like hard work like whether you have to journal and pray and really like de go deeper deeper than the surface and do a lot of soul searching because becoming an it girl is a lot of soul searching trial and error and you need to be mindful taking care of your body just because this body of us is a, this body we possess is a vessel and we want to protect our vessel so that we're we're constantly working at our optimal level you know being who we're meant to be you know like I don't want to be a mutant version of myself like that would be so freaking boring healthy lifestyle so eat well stay hydrated rest 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 if you're a girly like me just know that we need a lot of rest need a lot of rest so make sure you're not sleeping at three in the morning trust me i'm guilty i used to really sleep so late it was crazy like no wonder i was always so tired girl you're going to bed at 3 a.m of course you're gonna be exhausted you need to really make sure that you are journaling praying meditating on the word whatever you need to do to get your body in balance and equilibrium i just say just just be healthy health means listening to your body giving it what it needs eating its cravings and making sure that you are nice to your body and love your body for every stage that it's in every issue it, that you're going through like your body is your best friend so that is my strategic roadmap it's so easy but so difficult just because a lot of the things I talked about today takes a lot of mind power and a lot of unlearning confidence is about the way you show up for yourself the way you talk about yourself the way you view yourself that is all confidence babes and sometimes you have to fake it till you make it sometimes you can be in a room where it feels so uncomfortable but you have to fake it like yeah i'm here and what about it it's time for us to choose ourselves for us to create a community where we feel okay to share our ups and our downs and i'm really excited to see where we go i'm super excited and i'm really happy that you clicked on the video i'm really happy that we're here kicking talking i feel so connected to you already like literally drop in the comments like let's talk i reply to every comment and if you don't believe me go check so and i'll see you in the next video i really hope that this was helpful for you this was definitely helpful for me to kind of visualize and imagine what i want my life to look like in the next couple of months Thank you so much for watching today's video and I will see you in the next one. Make sure you're subscribed because like what 70% of you aren't subscribed. How rude.